here we go. All right, good morning, everybody. I'm Ned Dan Browder. I'm going to speak with you all a little bit about uh, self-driving vehicles and their potential effect on the uh, Tennessee economy. Okay. So what is a self-driving vehicle? Uh, it's defined as an uh, autonomous car, uh, as a vehicle that is capable of sensing its environment and navigating without human input. Autonomous cars can detect surroundings using a variety of techniques, such as radar, lidar, GPS, odometry, and computer vision. Are people safe drivers? What are y'all thinking? What do we know? No, for the most part, we're pretty sure they're not. I've got a couple of examples to show this. Here's one. People doing social media while driving. Not paying any attention at all. More interested in social media. Let's see. We've got a few other examples. <coughs> so. Snowman here. It was difficult to find a video that didn't have a lot of cursing in the road rage. So I had to find one that was dubbed over with some music. Slamming on the brakes. There's that. I think this is my favorite one. <laughs> Everybody knows only Costanza can make a right hand turn from the left line.
and there were hundreds of these videos on YouTube. So you can see that there's an <coughs> abundance of uh, bad driving going on. Are self-driving vehicles safe? Uh, there's a lot of concern whether or not a computer system uh, will be able to uh, drive safer than humans. <coughs> um, one of the best arguments for self-driving cars is that they will be safer than human drivers. Uh, human error is the cause of 94% of car crashes, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Uh, these numbers uh, come in the context of uh, three trillion total miles uh, driven annually in the United States, which is a huge amount of driving. And so some of the concerns about self-driving vehicles. Uh, they're expensive. Uh, the sensors uh, cost over $100,000 currently, uh, for, the, for the most part. Uh, security, people are worried that the uh, vehicles could be hacked uh, or tampered, tampered with while in motion, uh, causing wrecks or uh, a myriad of other issues. Uh, privacy. You know, if, you know, the open road has been a bastion of freedom for uh, um, since we've been driving. And uh, if we do this, all drivers will be geo tracked, um, and there'll be some type of uh, governance of knowing where you are uh, at all times. Uh, hazardous weather can cause havoc on the sensors and make them malfunction. And uh, there'll be significant job loss, uh, especially in Tennessee. So some of the jobs that will be at risk, uh, there are approximately 3.5 million professional truck drivers in the United States, uh, according <coughs> to the American Trucking Association. Uh, the total number of people, which is from dispatchers and uh, a bunch of other um, professions, uh, include 8.7 million. So that would be a significant hit to uh, the economy. Uh, and especially in Tennessee, where truck driving is the, uh, the most common profession. Some of the other jobs are risk, uh, taxi drivers, Uber drivers, <coughs> truck driving, limo operators, injury lawyers, uh, ambulance chasers. I know everybody loves the uh, uh, Elrod and Burrell commercials with the zombie apocalypses and whatnot. We could we could be at risk of losing those. Uh, auto insurance agents might not have much of a purpose if uh, the cars aren't getting into any wrecks. Collision repair shops. Uh, many movie franchises, Fast and Furious, uh, Transport, Speed, all these things could be lost. Um, futures now, the self-driving vehicles are relatively viable today. Uh, laws governing uh, our roads will likely slow the progress and the implication or implementation uh, of these programs. Uh, in the future, I believe only the rich will be able to <coughs> afford auto insurance. That's just such a dangerous thing to do, especially when so many of them, the wrecks could be uh, avoided. Uh, let's see. When testing their autonomous vehicle on public roads, Google always has had test drivers ready to take over if the car is not driving itself safely and smoothly. In August 2016, the cars traveled a total of 170,000 miles. 126,000 of those were driven autonomously by the car. And uh, their record, June two, uh, 2015, uh, Google founder Sergey Brin confirmed that there have been 12 collisions uh, with vehicles. Um, as you can see here, none of them were the uh, self-driving car's fault. It was all other drivers causing the error, and there was one incident where the actual driver itself of the Google car wrecked the vehicle in a Walmart parking lot. <coughs> now, I hope some of y'all haven't seen this video because it is it is amazing. Um, this Tesla takes a guy to work.
we can do here, you know, I hope I don't offend anybody, I was just trying to have a little bit of fun here, but uh, who do you think would draw uh, in the autonomous car, uh, you know, just shout out answers or whatever, there's no right or wrong, yeah, that's what I thought as well, what about playing League of Legends, oh yeah, <laughs> what about Tinker on the fantasy football lineup, yeah, Waste a bunch of time on that, don't I? Uh, discuss Rocket League strategy. Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, Tyler. Uh, refuse to ride because of privacy concerns. Marcus. Yeah, Marcus. And he drives a uh, motorcycle anyway, so I figured uh, he'd be happy with me. Let's see. Convince others to read Worm while tinkering with his Raspberry Pi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, get away from Union County. Yeah, Joey, it's always complaining about Union County. Makes sense. Uh, IT related work. I figured that'd be Darren. He's always talking about IT. He knows more about it than anybody I know. Um, create Spotify playlists. Austin. Yeah, Austin. Uh, contemplate harmless pranks. I don't know a whole lot about uh, Matthew, but he's always messing with me. So. <laughs> uh, let's see, eat acorns. Me. Tasha. Well, yeah, either Tasha or uh, uh, Justin. I saw him eat one as well. Uh, map out the most efficient Dollywood routes. Definitely <laughs> can. <laughs> and style hair, which is whoever you love. Uh, I guess Justin. <laughs> Right. Is there any questions or comments about self-driving vehicles? No. Well, How soon do you think they'll be implemented to the public? I think it really is going to depend on um, legislation, but I think the technology is there within the next couple of years. I mean, they've already <coughs> started um, uh, delivery with uh, mass trucks, so uh, tractor trailers. Uh, there was a beer delivery done. Uh, I think it'll be a couple of years, uh, and I think it's going to have a tremendous impact on the economy. Yeah, that, that parking, for sure. Yeah, to get park better than we can. Yeah, ballet is going to be done, you know, ballet service. Uh, uh, do you know where the uh, Tesla video was shot? Uh, it was shot in California. Okay. Uh, I think they have the, the most progressive laws yeah. uh, regarding California. Yeah. Okay. Can you ride in one? Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait. <coughs> I can't ride. It's like the most dangerous thing I do, and I do some dangerous stuff. And, uh, I just feel like it'd be a lot more efficient being able to do that. I think the cars will be more gas efficient, more fuel efficient. There'll be a lot less wrecks, uh, a lot calmer. Anyone else? Well, that concludes my presentation. Thank you all for your time, and uh, see you back in the class.